Hi everyone, it's Miss Liz with the Pawpaw District Library and today I'm going to show you how to make a colorful piece of art from beads. So go ahead and grab your kit and we'll get started. Okay, so the only extra thing that you'll need that's not in your kit is going to be a pencil and then some scissors to cut out your design. So the first thing you're going to do is whatever picture you have, is you are going to cut it out, all right? And then we're gonna take your canvas and we're going to lay it down on the canvas and we're going to trace it. So I chose a puppy dog and I'm going to center it on my canvas and I'm gonna take my pencil and I'm gonna trace around it. It doesn't have to be perfect. It's just giving you a general shape at this point. So let me finish his ears and then his chin. All right, so this is what mine looks like so far. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to look at my picture and I'm just going to draw in the major parts of the face. So like I'm probably going to do these lines here and then I'm gonna do the eyes and then the nose and probably the tongue, okay? So I'm gonna look at this and I'm just going to freehand it. It doesn't have to be perfect. So I'm gonna do this little line here and then this little line over here and then I'm going to do his eyes. So we're going to make one eye there and one eye there. Okay, now I already see something I don't like. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take my eraser and I'm going to fix it. So I have one of my lines that's kind of going off to the side here. And I have one that's way over here. So I'm going to fix this one. So I'm just going to erase and redraw it. So let's go here so it's more even. There we go. Okay. Now I'm going to do the nose. So he's going to get a little black nose right in the center. And then we're going to do his little chin and tongue. All right, so this is what I have. Again, it doesn't have to be perfect. It's just giving you a general outline. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my beans and my glue and I'm going to get started making the picture. So I'm going to start with his eyes since they are in the center of his face. And I'm going to look at my beans and I'm going to decide what shape a bean would look best. So I have these little tiny mung beans here I'm going to use those to outline the eyes, okay? So I'm gonna take my glue and my beans. I'm gonna stick my beans in here and then just lay them on the eyes. So you can either dip your beans one by one to the glue or you could pour a little bit of glue onto your eyes or you can take your paintbrush, which is what I'm going to do, and paint the area with glue. And you kind of want a lot because you want these to be secure. So I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna go all around those eyes, okay? Oh, let me find one more. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and finish outlining this and then I'll show you what it looks like. Okay, so I'm done with my eyes. So I'm going to carefully hold this up so you guys can see it. Okay, so I did the little mung beans for the main part of the eye, and then that little white spot, I'm using a dried pea, just like that, okay? So I'm going to keep doing this for the rest of the face. So what I'll probably do is I'll use some of these white beans in this area for the ear, then I'll probably use some of the bigger kidney beans for his nose and mouth. And I'm going to do that until his entire face is covered with beans and they're glued down. After that, I'm going to let this dry completely 
so that it's ready to paint, all right? So I'll show you that in just a minute. All right, so here's what I have done so far. Let me turn it around carefully. So I've done his eyes, this part of his face and his ear, and then his nose. So I'm going to continue doing that for the rest of his face. Then I'm gonna let those beans completely dry. After that, you can take your paint and you can start painting right over your beans to make them nice and colorful. I did an owl one earlier, so I'm going to show you what it looks like when it's completely done. So here's my owl. Isn't it cute? I hope you guys have lots of fun with this craft. I'd love to see pictures of your finished creations. So if you want to tag us on Facebook, feel free to do that. If you haven't signed up for summer reading yet, feel free to do so. All of the information you need is on our website or feel free to stop in the library. Hope to see you guys soon. Bye.